to the Engineering Update. I'm digital editor Jason Lumberg, and in this week's episode, the Navy's Robotuna, a next-generation military helicopter, and the TSA's new boarding rules. The Navy is experimenting with a four-foot-long unmanned undersea vehicle designed to blend in with marine life and perform military functions. The so-called biometric autonomous vehicle not only looks like a fish, but swims like one as well. According to Captain Jim Loper, Concepts and Innovation Department Head, Navy Warfare Development Command in Norfolk, Virginia, the Robotuna, as they're calling it, doesn't rely on traditional means of propulsion like propellers or jets, but it actually swims by flipping its tail. And by swimming like a fish, it's able to move stealthily and accelerate up to 40 knots, or about 46 miles per hour, which compares favorably with some of the fastest marine wildlife. The swordfish, for example, only goes 40 miles per hour. The Navy envisions the Robotuna performing various missions, including undersea mine detection and extended surveillance, and with its lithium-ion battery and payload that includes acoustic sensors and underwater cameras, the UUV could loiter for weeks at a time. The Robotuna is scheduled for another test this December, and it could deploy within a few years. With an aging fleet of helicopters and an increasingly restricted ability to upgrade old machines, the U.S. government is looking to award a $100 billion contract to the designer of the next generation of military helicopter. In addition to competitors like Sikorsky and Bell Helicopter, AVX Aircraft is offering a helicopter they claim will be able to reach speeds of 270 miles per hour. The AVX proposal for the Joint Multi-Role Technical Demonstrator weighs 27,000 pounds and will be designed with the ability to carry 12 combat troops plus 4 crew members. It features a rear access ramp for cargo and troop loading and the combat version offers a belly turret and floor weapon doors. AVX claims a helicopter will offer a lift capacity of 13,000 pounds. It's easy to recognize the company's patented short tail, twin ducted fans, and lack of tail rotor in the design. Designers also swapped the main rotor with rigid coaxial blades. This design also claims to utilize the stubby front wings to provide 40% of overall lift at flight speed. The program hopes to have demonstrations starting in 2017. Passengers at certain overseas airports with U.S.-bound flights will have to contend with a new TSA regulation. Passengers flying out of these unnamed hubs will be forced to turn on certain electronic devices, like cell phones, to prove they're real and not a threat to the plane. If the device doesn't turn on, it won't be allowed aboard, and the passenger will presumably be hustled off for questioning and probing and all sorts of other fun stuff. While the TSA only conducts screening for domestic flights, it does have the power to set security criteria for flights originating abroad and bound for the United States. What this means is if you happen to visit one of the countries on the TSA's list and ever want to leave by plane, you better remember to charge your phone or laptop or you might just lose them. The TSA hasn't mentioned a specific threat to the U.S., but the organization is afraid that a bomb disguised as a portable electronic device could slip through security. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on ECNMag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Jason Lumberg, and thanks for watching.